Right, let me just pause it there because I forgot I hadn't even done an intro for this. I just got straight into diagnosing the problem. And basically, the van's running on four cylinders instead of five. Uh, if you saw the last video where I swapped the injectors over, I did talk about it briefly, uh, the problem that I was having. Since then, I've had a specialist, a diesel specialist, come out and have a look at the van. He put it on his computer because I don't have any kind of software to be able to plug it in. So he plugged it in. There's uh, no issues with uh, any fault codes or anything. And the timing, he said, is fine. It's four degrees out, he said, but it shouldn't make this much difference. It shouldn't be like this. Uh, so we're going to diagnose it in this video. Enjoy. Right, so what I'm going to do now, if you have a look down here, where the injector goes the second from the second cylinder, right, so that injector fuel line, we follow it down, down into the diesel fuel pump down here. And where they go in, I don't know if you can zoom in to just the top one here, or one of these. Can you zoom in? Yeah. So we take this first one off, and once we've removed that fuel line, just in behind here, there's a 14 mil, and then that 14 mil, that will take, um, we'll take that out, and that's like a little valve, and it might be the valve that's sticking. So let me get underneath and start taking it out. So it's the second one down. So it's this one at the bottom, number two. Let's move it. So using my 14 mil socket, I'm going to get it over the end here, onto the end of this little valve. I can't remember the actual name of it. Um, this diesel specialist was telling me all about it. He was telling me about when, you know, I'm just using the 14 mil here to break it, um, get it past uh, the, the dirty bit of the thread, the worst bit of the thread, then I'm going to take it out by hand because inside there, there's like a little valve. Um, there's also a copper washer in the end, which uh, I did have, did hook out and it was a bit of a pain in the ass because it had uh, gone sideways. But yeah, just taking it out slowly by hand and then as you take it out, angle it downwards uh, so none of the valves fall out or anything. So now I'm just going to carefully unscrew the valve. I didn't realise the valve was screwed in. I thought it was just pushed in. But yeah, I'm going to unscrew that. And then, uh, I mean, this is all new to me. I've never taken one of these apart before. So it's a good, good learning curve. We're all learning today. Every day is a school day. So we've got a spring and then we've got that little bit down there. I have no idea on the names of all these little parts. But 
but the idea here, um, the diesel specialist, he said, yeah, take it apart, make sure it's not blocked up, there's nothing obvious, no obvious signs of any faults or anything, and you can see here the spring's fine, everything seems fine, this little bit all seems fine, there's inside here, this was a bit of, um, a bit fiddly, so you've got the spring, you've got another little piece of, like, uh, like a holder that goes onto the spring, and then there's a tiny little ball bearing that goes into the holder and then you get the valve bit that then pushes on top of that you see there there goes the ball bearing tiny little things fiddly and then there's that valve bit i mean it's all clean it doesn't seem to be any obvious signs of anything wrong with it at all Yeah, it seems to be working fine. I guess we just put it back together and swap the other injectors over and see if uh, what I'll do is I'll swap injector two with injector three because I know, you know, injector three is working definitely, and we know that something's wrong with either injector two or the cylinder itself. So now we've eliminated the fuel pump we are now going to eliminate it being a faulty injector and if it is a faulty injector happy days if it's not a faulty injector we then know that it is something wrong with cylinder 2 so yeah just um, fitting all this back together it's yeah reversal of how you took it all out don't over tighten that just tighten it just you know finger tight Give the thread a little wipe off, and there's that little copper washer. It's got to go back in. Right, I'm going to fit that and then swap the injectors over. Let's go. Well, it's like tucked into the beam, yeah. Can you can see it. Okay. Where's your. Mm -hmm. I think you have it. It's like slowly going into place. That will look all right. Yeah, it does. Let me just get that. Yeah. Uh, so I'll just get some of those. <laughs> for the boys. For the boys. For the boys. I'll never avoid you, sorry, for the boys. You boys will get me bare views. <laughs> Whatever it is. Yeah. Right, again, I uh, forgot to do another little clip here, but I've swapped over the injectors now. The valve's being cleaned out and freed, so we're all ready to go. Let's carry on. Well, so swapping those injectors round, it's not the injector. Sorted out that little valve on the fuel pump, and that's not sticking, so it's not that. Uh, I could have run a compression test, but all it's going to tell me is that cylinder two's f. <coughs> so I guess the next thing is to strip everything down. I'll, put, I'll move the van over there where Dad's car is. Swap them over and I'll just um, start stripping the engine down. Get the rocket cover off, have a look there. Get the head off, check the valves, make sure everything's all right there. 
check the pistons against the head, make sure none of the com rods are bent. Yeah. Oh well, leave it there, isn't it?